Okay, I'm going to try to explain amp hours, which is how you shop for batteries and how they're sold for the rated capacities, and watt hours, with a story from a few years back uh, when I was new in solar installation. And I had a guy down the road, and he had a PV system that worked great. And it was set up like this, with a battery bank in both series and parallel. This was a 12 volt power system. So he had four batteries. Each battery two hundred amp hours right from the catalog and right from the sticker printed on the top of the battery and each battery was six volts and here's the terminals label plus and minus plus and minus and here's our series connection between each of these and I'll write up here 12 volt battery bank. And then here's our parallel connections. And in series, the volts add up and the amps stay the same, or in this case, the amp hours stay the same. In parallel, the volts stay the same and the amp hours add up for a battery bank. So, two series strings put in parallel. So that means at the end of each string, he has 200 amp hours. I'll use this color. Right there. And 200 amp hours right there and add those two together because we're in parallel and amps add up, volts stay the same. So he has 400 amp hours at 12 volts. Okay, so he had a neighbor that had moved in and the neighbor really liked this power system. He thought it was great and they called me and said, hey, I want a power system. Let's do it exactly the same as my neighbor. I'm like, sure. But I recommend that you go to a 24 volt battery bank because everything's more efficient and your wire size is gonna be smaller. But you'll have the same amount of battery storage, same amount of capacity, but we're just gonna be at 24 volts instead of 12. So that's what we hooked up for. So here's the, uh, here's the new one. Label the polarity of each. So this is just one long series string. Exact same batteries, golf cart batteries. Six volts, 200 amp hours. So at the end of the string, since um, in series volts add, we have a 24 volt system, but amps stay the same when you're in series, and amp hours stay the same when you're in series. So 24 volt system, 200 amp hours. We put it in, it works. The guys get to talking over some beers. And this guy gives me a call. The new guy gives me a call. And he said, well, you said you put in the exact same battery bank, same amount of storage as my neighbor. But he just told me he has 400 amp hours, and I only have 200 amp hours. Were you lying to me? What's up here? Because he didn't understand that watts are always watts. And that's why I like to use watt hours for battery bank storage capacity. So 
I got to explain watt hours to. Each of these batteries, they both had four, they're identical batteries, 200 amp hours at six volts. So 200 amp hours times six volts equals 1200 watt hours for each battery. 1200, 1200, 1200, 1200. And the same down here. So all you have to do to figure out your watt hour capacity of both of these battery banks is take the number of batteries, four, times the watt hours capacity, and we get forty eight hundred watt hours for both of these battery banks. So they're identical. And once I explained the math to the guy, he was fine with it. And then he was happy to learn that actually with his 24 volt system, he has a little bit more storage capacity because everything runs more efficiently when you have a higher voltage and then lower amperage. But both of these battery banks are the same watt hour capacity. It's just the amp hour figure that's confusing. I guess that was okay.